Good evening, EDAP 690, the class that Mayer built. Well, we are going to do one of my all time favorite modules, and that is creating an audio story. The audio story, when you look at it through the lens of Mayer, can be problematic because when you look at the audio story um, and look at Mayer's principles, it's hard to sort of fit them together. But if you stop and think about it, some of Mayer's principles do work, signaling, segmenting, coherence. But really, let's take a step away. And if you need, if we need to be looking at it through a lens, let's look at it through the lens of George Seaman and his people to people. The idea that as human beings, we have always told stories to each other. We have always taught each other through the telling of stories. And it's interesting how this idea of storytelling has always been around. And radio in its infancy was the great storyteller at its time. And then along came movies and talkies and of course television now YouTube. And so we have a whole different way of telling stories. But what's so fascinating is that the kind of audio stories that we're talking about here have come roaring back through an application known as a podcast. We are creating episodes for a podcast. I've been doing this kind of stuff for more than 20 years. I started doing this when I was working in Jefferson County Public Schools because I was fascinated, always been fascinated about audio. And I used to go down to Lexington where the STLP conference was held in the uh, Lexington Convention Center right next door to Rupp Arena. We take over Rupp Arena, that's how big it is. Thousands of kids. And one year, I had this idea about actually broadcasting from the STLP over something called the Internet Radio, <laughs> um, which was a big deal. We were using something called Real Audio, which doesn't exist anymore. And I was sitting at a table right smack in the middle of everything going on at the conference. And set of microphones and a mixer and a kid running the mixer. Um, or the soundboard and kids sitting around with headphones on. And we were talking about what we saw at the conference that we liked. We brought kids in uh, who were showing off their stuff and they'd come over and talk to us about it. The group that was running the whole thing was a group of kids from a high school in Green River, Kentucky. And they had their own radio station at their high school that reached out to the parking lot. I think maybe it was all of 50 watts. And we were sitting around just talking about how cool it was to have a radio station. And now that we had this Internet radio station and one of the kids said that the really cool thing about it was that. When you tell people that you're from Kentucky, they think you run around barefooted. That you're stupid and that you end up marrying your cousin. And he said. What we can do now is we can tell our stories to show people that we're not stupid, that we are, don't run around in our bare feet and we don't marry our cousins, that we are smart and that we do amazing things. That really rang in me and I started really looking around at ways to capture these kinds of stories. And then along came podcasting, which was a afterthought of the good people at Apple when they first created iTunes. iTunes, as you know, was created as a way to sell music. But as an afterthought, somebody said, hey, why don't we let other people have a chance to create their own music and upload it to our uh, iTunes store using this cool new thing we created called GarageBand. The GarageBand was originally uh, in intended for people to sit there and strum their guitars or play an instrument and then upload it to the iTunes store. 
what was amazing about it was it went a totally different way. People started doing stories. People started doing um, broadcast about a particular topic and the podcast was born. It kind of went away for a while. You know, YouTube kind of pushed it out, out of the way. But now it has come roaring back. And you find podcasts everywhere. What you're going to create is going to be hosted here in something called Podbean. Uh, Podbean is the number one hosting site. You can have a free Podbean account. Or you can get one. And, and the, the free one only allows you to upload three episodes at a time. And it only allows you to have 10 gigabytes of space. Well, let me tell you something. An MP3 file, by its very nature, is not very big. It's pretty small. So you could get an awful lot of stuff into 10 gigabytes. If you have a paid account like this one, you can put up as much as you want. Your story will be here. And then it'll be here. This is Spotify. So in the Spotify catalog now is our podcast. And I think this is what has changed and brought it back is the fact that it is so easy now to do this kind of thing, host it, and then have it to where anybody can find it anywhere through something as simple as going into Spotify and typing in the name of it, and it will find it for you. All right. How are we going to do this? Well, I want you to think about a visual picture. I want you to think about telling a story about resiliency. I want you to tell us a story about a time in your teaching career where you had to overcome something, where you were working with a difficult class, where you're working with difficult administrator, working with a difficult school, or working at a time in your life when things were difficult and then you had to go teach. How did you overcome that? In doing so, you need to paint us a picture. You need to give us lots of exposition so we understand what's going on. You're the narrator as well as the person whose story you're telling. Now, what we can do, can you add sound effects that will give it depth and realism and we can add music. And when you add all three of those together, it is outstanding what you can create. You're going to then download that MP3 file. You're going to create a page in your wiki called resiliency. You're then going to upload that mp3 file into as a file you don't have to do any of the fancy embed stuff and insert and all that. It's just a straight up now it may or may not play as you click on it but it will play when you click download on it well how long does this have to be steve well one of the great storytelling venues that we have <laughs> are commercials and that's i always start off there so tell me a story and at least tell it to me in a minute time. It may last longer than a minute and that's fine. But at least your story should be at least a minute long. It should have that kind of gravitas that you're going to hold me for a minute. How are we going to do it? Well, you know, that's the other interesting thing. There are all kinds of ways of now creating stories or recording. Um, you can put a Chrome extension into a Chromebook uh, if you have a, you know, a classroom full of them that is basically right here. And it is a, all kinds of different ways of, of capturing audio. You can use um, GarageBand if you have iPads. If you want to do it through like what we're going to do, this is through a browser, we're going to use something called Soundation. We're going to use something called Soundation Studio. 
So when you click on this, it'll take you into here. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to tell your story first. In other words, you're going to basically get your story together, write it down, or at least rehearse it so that when you tell it, you're not awing and ooing and uh, excuse me and so on. You want to tell it naturally. You don't want to I remember when tell it naturally. Relax. Drink a glass of wine before you tell the story. Tell a story. And the way you do it is this simple. You make sure this line, which is called the scrubber, is over here on the left-hand side. You can do that just by dragging it, or it'll always be here waiting for you. And then this dot right here that says record when you mouse over it, you're going to press it. And then you're going to start telling your story. And you're going to pick the track. Oh, I should go around. Let me go around and show you everything. Here's where everything is. This is where the where you're going to be doing your, you're going to export your audio when you get it done. Uh, we're going to import some files uh, so we can do some sound effects. Uh, we're going to publish our track. All that stuff takes place over here. Uh, the rest of this you don't really need to worry about too much. Okay. These are called tracks. And you have to select them or drag something into them to activate them. Across the bottom, these are your forward and your backward buttons. This is your stop. This is your play. This is your record. And really, the rest of these you don't need to worry about. You got a metronome button here. But don't hit that because it'll go tick, tick, tick and drive you nuts. And there's a loop here. And I'll show you a better way of doing the loop when we get ready to. So let's go now and record a story. I've selected. I started teaching at Bloom Elementary School. I was a special needs teacher for students who are identified as moderately to severely handicapped. I had 12 to 13 kids on any given day. The majority of them, the vast majority of them, were in diapers. They were incontinent. They were ages 5 through 12. The first day, I didn't know if I was ever going to come back. I was alone. I had no one there to help me. But I decided that they needed me. And I was going to stay. All right. So I've recorded that. I'm going to go back. Now I'm going to play it just to make sure that I got the sound right and everything's working okay. So I hit my return, or I could move the scrubber, and now I'm going to hit play. I started teaching at Bloom Elementary School. I was a special needs teacher for students who are identified as moderately to severely handicapped. Okay, so I've got a good sound going. I can make it even better. Over here in the sound library, these are the free sounds. I'm sorry we don't have the ability to use all the sounds here, but there's plenty here. And what you do is you come over here and you click on the little uh, arrow, and then you can listen to the different sounds. And you can decide which one of these kind of matches the sound that you're trying to do. And when you find it, drag it in. And let it go. You don't need to adjust anything. I'll turn it off. You don't need to adjust anything. Just let it go. Now, this is a very long piece of music. If we don't want to use it all, or if we want to make it last all the way through our talking, if we want to make it the introduction, I can pull it back until it only is at the same location as my sound, where I start. Maybe I just want to get it to there. 
then I'm going to move mine over a little bit so that at the end of that first waveform, my then waveform, which is these little squiggly lines right here, they sort of, after a slight pause, they sort of start together. Let's hear how that sounds. Run my scrubber back. I started teaching at Bloom Elementary School. That's okay, but it's such an abrupt. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Well, let me show you what you can do. So let's go ahead and we're going to pull this out back again because I haven't lost anything. I've still got the music. But I'm going to do what's called ducking. And I can come in here and I can say that I need to see the volume. And as you can see, when I do that, there's this line that appears across the page. And I can take a point on that line and I can then take another point on that line and drag the volume down. That's called ducking. So let's see how that sounds. I started teaching at Bloom Elementary School. Boom. And that simple, just doing that technique, all of a sudden, my, my story, you're engaged. Now, if I want to keep, whoops, if I want to keep going with this, in other words, if I need to turn it off more, what I, or I need to have it play more, I can just come back in here, click down there, and I can drag it out all the way to where it ends. And if I come back and look at my volume, I can see that it's going to keep playing. Now, if I wanted to, oops, what I wanted to make sure, <laughs> make sure you turn that off. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll keep doing that. If I need to, I could drag it back in here and just keep playing it over and over and over again. Or I could do what's called a bridge and I could bring in another piece of music. And I can bring that other piece of music in and I can put it in here at the same level as the first piece of music or I can drop it down here. For our purposes, let's put it in at the same level. Notice I have a break. And I'm going to put that at a break where the other is. Okay, let's run that back. And I'll tell you what, let's run the scrubber forward. To where we can hear it we don't have to listen all the way through it okay so i'm going to grab my little scrubber if it'll let me <laughs> i'll come down here and do it it does it a second at a time if i click on here it'll run it up a second at a time okay so let's see now what happens when we play this i had 12 to 13 kids on any given day the majority of them, the vast majority of them, were in diapers. They were incontinent. They were ages 5 through 12. The first day, I didn't know if I was ever going to come back. I was alone. I had no one there to help me. But I decided that they needed me, and I was going to stay. Okay. So in... Just that short of time, we have added all of the elements that we need to add. We've added music, and that break right there emphasized, and I might want to slide that over a little bit, because the break, I probably should have that break come at a different time in, in my recording, and that's easy enough to do. I can just grab it and slide it a little bit. You know replay. Now, what else am I needing here? How about some other sounds? Maybe a sound effect. Well, let's go look and see if we can find something. So I'm going to go back into here. And if I look into here where it says free sounds, 
I'm going to go in here to SoundJ because it's the easiest one to work with. And as you can see, I have a whole bunch of different sounds here. I have background sounds, button sounds, I don't know, communication sounds, phones, all that, human sound effects, house, nature sound effects. Let's see if I do background sounds, what I could add here. I don't think I want to be in an airport or a bus. Hmm, kids playing. Let's hear what that sounds like. Okay. Let's go to the next one and see what that might have. Okay, looks like I could probably use the kids playing. So I'm gonna download that as an MP3 file, click here, and I'm gonna say kids playing and I'm going to put it in, I'll put it in this podcast folder that I've been using. So I'll save it there. Now, when I go back into Soundation, I'm going to go over here to my file. And I'm going to import an audio file. And it's going to ask me, where is the file that I want to import? So I'm going to go to that podcast folder. And there it is, playing. And I'm going to open it. And when I do that, it'll appear up here where it says imported sounds. So I'll go looking for it. And then when I do that, I can drag it in just like we've been doing. I can drag it in and create, have it as a part of my sound. Now, how would I make it so it, it works? Well, that part, what I'd have to do is go back and play with the volume on it. And to do that, of course, I've already shown you how to do that. You go in and you click on here and you turn it to volume. And now you can see how the volume is going to play out through your story. Now, let me look here and see. I thought I uploaded that. Let's do that again. Let's see. Maybe I just missed it. Or maybe it put it into a folder. Well, here's people in lounge. I thought the one I was looking for, though. Wait here. I bet it's right here. There it is. So it was in my name. So I'm now going to pull that over here. I'm going to drop it in. I'm definitely I'm going to drop that volume down. And I'm going to keep that as a very quiet background. Let's hear how it sounds. I started teaching at the Moon Elementary School. I was expecting. I got to turn this off. No, I don't want to delete it. I just want you to turn it off. Well, I don't know why that won't turn off. It's like it just keeps looping over and over again. I'll go ahead and delete it.
Okay. <laughs> I uh, I don't know why it keeps playing us over and over again. But let's go ahead and finish up, shall we? Let's see what happens if I get rid of it here. So, for, Oh, you know what it is? I now know what it is. It's playing over here. I need to turn it off over here. Nope, it's still playing. Let's see if I put another one, if I can get rid of it. Wow. I don't know why it's doing that, folks. But you get the idea. I'm going to now export this as an audio. And I'm going to do it as a low res MP3. You can do it as a high res if you want to. To uh, if you do it at a low res, you won't have any trouble with it fitting into your um, wonderful wiki page that you're going to be creating. As you can see, it's processing. And now it's asking me where I want to save it to. So I'm going to say Steve Story. And I'll save it in that podcast folder. Okay. I am really perplexed. And I'm going to see one more thing here before I give up on this. Because I don't understand why that just kept going and going and going. It's not here. Is it here? Let's scroll down through. There it is. See, that was the problem. It came in as a clip and I couldn't see where it was. All right. Let's go back and try all that again, shall we? So we're going to bring that in and we're going to put it where we can see it. <laughs> and I'm going to turn that volume down. Way down. And I'm going to make sure that it isn't hiding anywhere over here. So let's scroll up and down. It's not. What about where is it located at the rest of it? Let's go scrolling over to make sure we're okay. There it is. Well, you know what? I really don't want it here anymore. So I'm going to ask it to stop right there. I'm going to bring my scrubber in. I'm going to use my scissors to cut it right there. And then what I can do is once I've cut it, once I have split it, I can get rid of it. Scissors, cut, and then I can delete that part off. Or I could just go to the end of it, turn display off. I can go to the end of it and just grab the ending and drag it over, just like we did before. So there's a couple of ways where you can play with it to get what you want it to be. Now, the, this is a little bit tricky, and I'm having trouble here grabbing it at the right place. But that's essentially how you do it. There we go. Yeah. It's just not letting me get it. Come on. Come on. Okay. Now I got it. And now I can delete it. Okay. You see how my scissors is letting me have my own little scissor thingy here? And I can highlight and I can cut and I can cut. Okay. And I can cut. <laughs> Turn off the scissors. There we go. Now, if we rewind it all the way back, 
and let's double check our sound for this one. Okay, let's see how it all sounds now. I started teaching at Bloom Elementary School. I was a special needs teacher for students who were identified as moderately to severely handicapped. I had 12 to 13 kids on any given. Okay, now when he starts talking there, how about if we start bringing up the sound of the children laughing and talking in the background? And let's see how that sounds when we do that. No, I didn't mean to go all the way back. So I'll bring it forward here a little bit. Let's see how it sounds. To severely handicapped. I had 12 to 13 kids on any given day. The majority of them, the vast majority of them, were in diapers. They were incontinent. They were ages 5 through 12. All right. You get the idea. You're going to find your music over here. Um, you have to use these libraries. Unfortunately, you can't use the uh, what they call the, their premium sound. That's okay because there's plenty of sound in here. There is another way, though. If you go back to our folder, there's where some music lives. And I'm telling you right here, this guy has got some good music. So if you want to find something in here that you might like to use, you can use it as well. Um, notice it says vocal songs. So let's see if we did it instrumental songs, what we would might get. Here's a good one. Download it. Now what you have to do then is you download the instrumental MP3. Notice you've got all the licenses for it down here. Sure, I'll give you my email address. He doesn't send you anything. But I really like your song. I'll give him that. Oops, he didn't like my email address because I had a gap. Let's do it one more time. Steve Swan at gmail.com. Okay. And now that he, I've given it to him, he now is going to let me have it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll put that into my podcast folder. And I'll come back here and we'll go to our untitled song. And let's see if I upload that, import an audio file. And there's Josh. And I'll bring that in. Now, we know from the last time we were doing this that our uploads, it brought it in under my name. So I'm going to go down here and look. And it may take a little while because it's such a big, that was a big file. And if it does, that's fine. But you get the idea. It's that simple to pull stuff in. And you just go down and you can look either in the uploads, in other words, this whole folder. Or if you go in and create your own setup in here, um, then you'll find it there as well. So how do we get it then into where it needs to go? Well, let's go to our old friend, the PB Works. And we're going to log in. And we'll use our little sandbox here. 
and I'm going to create a new page. And I'm going to call this or module five, either way. And I'm going to click on it to go visit it. And I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to insert, I'm going to go to images and files, and I'm going to upload a file. And I'm going to go to Steve's story. And I'm going to upload that. I'm going to do a new version of that. Okay. And then I'm going to pull that over. And when I do, and I save it, and I click on it, You see what I'm saying about the download thing? Don't worry, just click download. I started teaching at Bloom Elementary. Okay, that's the old one that wasn't any good. <laughs> but that's okay. You're seeing how it all works. It's easy. Um, I hope you will take the time to do this and put some thought into it. Uh, if you want to know how to do this with kids, there is a complete audio drama how-to uh, that'll walk you through how to create a radio play and how to do everything you need to do. As I said, all of this is readily available if you have Chromebooks. It's an extension that you put in. And look at all the different things it has. So you can do a sound editor. And surprise, surprise, hey, looky, it look, kind of looks like what we just were playing with. They have Audacity Online. This one's a little confusing. Um, and I would, you know, I think I would, when I say confusing, Audacity is a very powerful program. Just about everybody who creates a online podcast that does that do not have the money to go out and buy the big boy stuff, they use Audacity. Um, if I were doing this with kids, that's the one I'd use because it's easy, nice, big, clear. Here's another one. But as you can see, these are, you know, you're, you're having to deal with a lot of ads around and all of that, whereas this one is just boom. Very clear, very straightforward what you do. There's your record button. There's your backwards and forwards. You can import stuff right there. This does not come with any of the sounds, but that's okay because I've got an import feature here. And I can bring the sound in and then I can download as an MP3. I hope you will allow me to put you here this is our Podbean account, so that eventually you will end up being here. And you can then be able to tell people that you are part of a podcast inside of I, uh, Spotify. As always, if you have any comments, concerns, questions, how did you do that, Steve? You know how to reach me, 502-457-2937. I hope you'll enjoy doing this. I hope you'll take the time to do it correctly and to put some thought into it. If you want, you can go and listen to some of these. They're awfully good. And I will see you next Wednesday.